Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the first week of May. This is for April 30th through May 6th, but whenever it resonates, this is for the sign of Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Generally, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Aquarius. beautiful <laughs> amazing right so there you are you're probably feeling right in your own element right on thinking clearly seeing situations clearly you might be dissatisfied in a situation and thinking about how you're going to handle it handle this dissatisfaction Something may not be feeling very stable and secure in your life. Something could be, somebody could be moving out of your home or there could be some financial losses. Um, there could be some fighting, some family feuds going on. Uh, things are definitely stagnant with this Knight of Pentacles. There's no, there's no forward movement. Something is stuck, stuck. But you want to get moving. You're like, I am ready and I'm sick of this slow pace, snail movement. I can't take it. So it feels like you guys are like ready to charge. It's like I'm ready to go. There's a lack of uh, truth here. I don't know what this is. Maybe there's a lack of power. The Ace of Swords reversed. You could be dealing with somebody at home that is dishonest or untruthful they are, they refuse to see the situation clearly somebody that you live with perhaps or that you're dealing with but you know the truth is going to come out whether you know anybody likes it or not okay somebody's about to get caught Look at the freaking reversals. Somebody's given up, and I think that's probably you. You may be quitting a job, leaving a job, um, or giving up on a job. Just, I don't even want to be put, or this could even be a relationship. Somebody's giving up. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't have any time, effort, energy, desire to be involved in this anymore. I'm getting out. And you guys have to make a decision here. You Do you stay or do you go? So I think that you guys may make a sudden, very quick decision. You could decide quickly to get the hell out of a situation that has gone absolutely stale. You have options and you know it. I have options. It feels as though wherever you've been, there's been a lot of restlessness, there's been a lot of discontent and detachment, and you're at this crossroads, and I think you're about ready to make a, a swift change. Because right now you're holding on to something that is dead and it's getting old. And you've been staying only because fear has held you back, fear of change. But it's like, I need to release this, and I see the situation clearly. I just need to embrace this fear. You have a new prospect. You're, you're seeing the light. I know that I have something better. There's a new option for me. I don't need to stay stuck in this rut with you. You want to stay stuck in the rut or this rut? I'm not going to stay stuck in this rut. It doesn't, there's no security here. Wherever you're at, whether it's at job or in love, there's no more any security. There's too many feuds. There's too much fighting. There's too much discontent. And it's too burdensome. It's too burdensome. I don't... Fuck this shit. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. It slipped. Okay? For all you tender ears, that just slipped. It, you know, it came out for a reason. 
I don't want to be here anymore. It's too heavy. It's too burdensome. It's not serving me. It's too much. I value myself. I know what I deserve. Right now, I have a lot of compassion for myself, so I'm not going to let your or you or this situation stall me. You guys are nurturing yourselves. You're doing what's right for you. There's a lot of self-love here. You're going through some sort of rebirth and somebody's trying to hold you back or a situation is holding you back. You, you're growing. There's been a period of growth here. And now it's time to take the next step. I'm not going to be a victim. I'm not going to let these emotions get the best of me. I can't just sit back and cry about it and do nothing about it. I feel like you guys are taking action. You've been dealing with so somebody or a situation that is cold, not happy. There's no compassion there. There's no more growth. Somebody's really sensitive and it's too hot and cold. There's too much back and forth hot and cold. And that, that causes a lot of burdens. And I feel like you guys are seeing the situation absolutely clearly. Whatever this situation is, you know what you need to do. Do not doubt yourself. It feels like this first week of May is about doing what's right for you as you're the first card. Putting yourself first, seeing the light, believing in yourself, taking action very, very quickly because you're in a situation that promises no growth. You've grown, okay? There's no stability wherever you're at. With the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles reversed, and the Knight of Pentacles reversed, you are in a situation that is no longer stable and secure. It's not what you want. It's like there's no future here. Somebody has given up. I don't even want to put time into it anymore. This has been stalled and stagnant and boring and discontent for too long. It's time for me to make this decision and take the next step and take back my power because I know what I'm worth and this ain't it. Yeah, you guys are releasing to restore control. You're letting go of something that is dead. It was toxic and you're blocking it from your life. It's like done, goodbye. No more communication. No more forward movement there. Time for me to move on and start this healing process. I have grown. True suffering brings growth. Somebody has suffered long enough in a situation. I have grown into a different person. You taught me something. I learned. Adios. It's over. It's dead. It's, it's dead. I feel like you guys are taking a time out, a time to step back, or you have to really focus on your future. To come up with a future plan. I know what I want. I see the situation clearly. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm moving forward to something bigger and brighter. I know what I'm doing. I already thought about this. And where I'm at right now, there's no happiness. It ain't no fun. And I don't want to be involved. There's nothing to celebrate here. So I feel like you guys are taking action. You're taking action. You're being objective. You're making a firm decision. Nobody can change your mind. You've made up your mind. You're believing in yourself. You're listening to your inner guide. You're following your own path. 
Because wherever you're at, it wasn't destined. It wasn't meant to be. Somebody wasn't putting in effort, whether it's a job or a person. They weren't, they weren't fulfilling your needs. They weren't listening. Therefore, you guys are moving forward to bring success. You're following your own passions. There's a new opportunity because of growth. Okay, you guys have have gone through some sort of evolvement. You've evolved into a different person. Could have happened very quickly. And your thoughts become things. This is the card of manifestation. This is something you've been thinking about doing for a while now. And I think the time has come. I think a fire has been lit under your ass. And you're getting the hell out of a situation that is no longer happy, fun, or desirable. You're taking action to release, to shed the old. You're finding the power within you. You're wide awake. You are. You're wide awake. Aquarius, you know what is up. Don't doubt yourself. That is my message for this week. Whatever you are thinking about doing this week, your inner guide is telling you what to do and I can see that you're seeing clearly I can do not doubt yourself you're thinking about releasing yourself from a toxic situation that is no longer serving you and this week my message to you is listen to your gut you are right you are right in this scenario. Whatever it is that you're thinking, do not doubt yourself because your thoughts are correct. They are correct. Union. Union. I'm going to read that one. You yeah, don't know what it means, but... Whether you seek spiritual union from within or a physical connection with another, the search to rise above the surface of illusion toward the light of divine understanding is a worthy goal. We often seek the missing parts of ourselves in others, only to be met with disappointment. This craving can drive many to addiction, forever searching for, for the elusive other in the realm of extremes. Through the relentless cycle of trial and error over lifetimes, we can learn to love and accept ourselves just as we are, and I can see that you guys are doing that, and loosen our attachment to outcomes. Meditation and sincere self-inquiry, with the Hermit card, help steer you toward a deeper meaning of union by allowing it to emerge, emerge naturally within like the lotus bloom rising from the depths. The appearance of this card plays a significant role in your question and calls you to take comfort in the encompassing presence of union. The thoughts, values, and exchanges you seek to cultivate offer vital clues about how you perceive and experience this basic need. Notice any areas of resistance where energy is blocked within you. Now may be a good time to address and release buried feelings or preconceptions with the transforming power of unions connecting frequencies. Union suggests the possibility of a new relationship, special friendship, creative project, or meditation. The entwining of the divine energy of union seeks authentic expression. The heavenly energy represented by this card could also signify the answer to a prayer. Don't doubt yourself, Aquarius. You know what you're doing. Something's holding you back that doesn't serve you. Follow your gut. And, and your passion. There's an exciting new beginning right in front of you. 
You've manifested it. So that's what I have. Talk to you later.